pink. Can you imagine? This is color. Like, oh my God, there's color happening. Like what? Who am I? Welcome back. I don't know if I'm saying that to me or you, but I missed you. Thank you for your patience while I was taking some time off. I am currently in Italy. I'm here for the next maybe three and a half weeks. I'm here for a total of five weeks doing both work and play. So I wanted to share with you today what I brought, how I packed it all in my carry-on. I've got a whole bunch of looks for you and I'm not sure if this is gonna be a two-parter because it might take a really long time or if I'm just gonna put it all in one video. We shall see. Life is a mystery but in the meantime let's jump on into what I brought and go from there. When it comes to actually packing I tend not to choose or be so strict about what gets rolled or what gets folded. It really depends on the garment and where things are fitting in the suitcase. I typically start out by folding like with my button-up shirts or even the dresses. I'll start with a fold and then it usually ends up that I'll roll it. I just find if you're not hard and fast on rolling or folding, then you have more flexibility. It's almost like Tetris, you know, like you can kind of adjust depending on what space you have left and what garment will fit better where. So thicker garments like my shorts, I'll tend to fold and put them at the bottom because they take up less space that way. And then they kind of serve as another foundation for more sensitive and softer fabrics. I always wrap my belts around the edge of the suitcase and I will sometimes, I either put socks in shoes, but because I've only got sandals here, I just made sure to separate out all of my socks and undies and things like that in a separate bag. This time, because I was traveling carry-on, I put all of my liquids in my backpack because it would be way too annoying to undo my suitcase at security. So all of my liquids went in my backpack. I also forgot to mention I have a shampoo bar. I brought some like travel size Daviness hair stuff. Thank you so much to my lovely friend Fiorella over at Salon Fiorella. She kitted me with like all of the perfect travel size Daviness products so I wouldn't have to leave home without them. Before we jump into showing you each of the pieces, I didn't really like plan colors for this capsule in particular. It just kind of worked out this way. My closet, as you know, if you've been around for a while, is like majority black, white, and tan. So I've got mostly black, white, navy. Those are like the three kind of primary neutrals. Then I've got a little bit of tan in the short shorts, some pale yellows, pale pinks, and red is probably the next strongest like accent color. I brought a total of 16 items of clothing and then I brought three purses, some workout gear, and three pairs of shoes. So somehow I managed to fit all of this in a carry-on in addition to some of my gear for filming. I didn't bring my proper tripod or anything like that, but I'll show you sort of how I packed everything. Let's start with what I brought. I also brought two belts. Haven't been wearing these as much, but I wanted to make sure I had a dark and a light and two varying silhouettes. So this one here is the one that I co-designed with Brave Leather, fantastic Canadian company. I like that it's got like this texture, the nice square buckle. I felt like I wanted something a little bit refined, but I also have this in black and brown, but I think those would have been a little bit too heavy. I'm doing a lot of like islands, a lot of really chill, like relaxed kind of places so I didn't think I would need anything so polished and then I've got this belt here little vintage thrifted number got it for $4.99 I brought one sweater this is beautiful like merino boyfriend you've seen this before I've had it for years but I wanted to grab something that was a little bit more of like a boyfriend voluminous fit so I could layer it over stuff but also because my bottoms are all really like sharp and structured and tailored and I want to make sure I maintain my my like ease and, and chill vibe while I'm here. Two dresses of like a very, very identical silhouette. This is not normal. Normally I like to really vary both silhouette, color and everything so that I have two very different options. This one is a gorgeous navy linen and this is actually my neighbor's dress. She's babysitting Apollo right now. And at the last minute she told me to throw this in my suitcase. It is the most gorgeous lightweight linen off the body. Looks fantastic dressed up or down. I also have this dress which is a completely different fabric and also like a completely different vibe, completely different print. But both of these can be dressed up or down so easily. I have 
one pair of trousers. These are a really great like wide leg. I found them in Portugal last year, but they're an Italian brand called Beatrice Bay. These are what I wear on the plane. Oh my gosh, these are like the best travel pant ever. So comfortable, so flowy, not too heavy, not too light. My two linen Power of My People, if you've been around for a while, you know I am mildly obsessed with Power of My People. They are just so fantastic. So I've got these two and then I decided to bring a colorful shirt because I felt like red was a good little accent color here. I think it adds a little bit of fun, a little bit of color. Two t-shirts, black and white, very different textures, very different silhouettes and necklines. This one feels a little bit more like organic and easy. It's a cotton linen blend, but it's still got a nice detail scoop neck. This v-neck you have seen many, many times, but it's just so elegant. It's so light. I love the way the cut of the sleeves are, how the V is deep on both sides for tank tops. Black and white. This is an incredibly old tank, but it again, it feels elegant because it's got like this really cool deep V, so it doesn't feel like just your average tank. This one here too is nice, fits off the body. It's just a nice easy cotton. And then I've got two dressier tank tops. This one is vintage, eyelet. My guess is that this is actually an underpinning from like the 1940s based on the silhouette and the way it's cut and the material and everything. But I just thought it was perfect for this kind of super summery heat. It will lighten up a lot of my bottoms. Like the two shorts that I'm wearing the most are these denim shorts and then my tailored shorts. So I like how this adds a little bit of that like juxtaposition, that bombshell vibe. And then a silk black cami. Two shorts, these denim ones and these tailored shorts. And then another vintage number, pink. Can you imagine? This is color. Like, oh my God, there's color happening. Who am I? Found this linen pink mini in Toronto on a recent trip. I'm really Really trying to embrace the mini in both fall, winter, and spring, summer season because I really like my legs and I think it's kind of fun to have garments that show off features that you love about yourself, especially if you're like not always feeling 100%. So the linen is fantastic. This is super light and comfortable. In terms of swimsuits, I left with two, a black bikini and then this little one piece by Londres. I get a lot of questions about this too. It's really really well made. The material is fantastic. I got an extra small. I probably could have gone for a small, in fact. And what I love about them is that they do extra long. So if you've got a long torso, it's pretty comfortable. So I brought this and that's what inspired me to bring this red shirt. And also it's what inspired me to use red as one of my more prominent accent colors for this capsule. So I also brought this vintage silk scarf. It's actually my mom's, but I thought that if I go with this kind of red theme, that could be really fun. So all that to say, I left with this and a bikini until I realized that my bikini is just so stretched out and so old. And I didn't really have another bikini that would pack well. I remember when I was leaving, the other bikini that I have is like a really thick material and it took up a lot of space. So I just thought, you know what? I'm in Italy. They know swimwear. I actually acquired three new bikinis. And to be honest, I love them. All of them are made in Italy. All of them were purchased at a local boutique where I, I met the shop owner and she was just so kind and lovely. And I was very happy to support this local business like I love them. They're comfortable. I feel good in them. Luckily they're bikinis. They're tiny. They'll still fit in my suitcase. <laughs> so it was all good. Bags. The Loewe puzzle. This was really difficult. I really, really wanted to bring a bag that was like a basket kind of woven material because that I think is the perfect vibe for where I am. It's all beach or island where I'm going. Like I'm not really spending a lot of time in cities. And this is a very like metropolitan kind of vibe and bag. But when I went to New York and I did not bring my my button up, which was a trusty piece that I knew how to style. I did not like that feeling. I've never traveled with the basket bag. It didn't fold as easily. Like it took up a lot of space in my suitcase. So I just thought, you know what? The puzzle packs nice and flat. I know how to style it. I'm obsessed with it. So I brought the puzzle. Also brought vintage fanny pack. And of course my trusty convertible backpack, which you've seen many, many times. This was made in Canada. It's probably one of the best travel bags I own. This is what I wore on the plane along with my little carry-on suitcase. For shoes, I brought three pairs, all black. My Emma Parsons Barry sandals. These are like so worse for wear. I wear these everywhere 
all the time in the summer. This is probably one of the best sandals I've ever owned. I'm like not a sandal person. When I find something I like, it's amazing. This summer, M.A. Parsons kindly sent me this sandal. This is also M.A. Parsons, but this is like a more delicate, lighter, it's called the string. Also flat, the tiniest little heel. It's so elegant. Like I feel like I don't need to have a heel when I have this because it's just so beautiful on the foot. Works really nicely when you want to elevate. And finally, my pair of sneakers. So these are my running shoes that I actually like run in. And then I'll also wear these during the day if I'm like hiking to a beach or doing a lot of walking. Normally I'd bring my running sneakers and then a separate pair of more like lifestyle sneakers to look cute. But I just didn't have the space. And you know, this is kind of the trend now, right? Like wearing proper, like hardcore athletic wear with everything. So I'm not wearing them as much as the sandals, but it's nice to know that I'll still feel like on trend and contemporary, even if I'm wearing those. For smaller accessories, I brought two watches, a leather strap, and then the metallic strap watch from Nordgreen. I think between these two, I have some really great options. I brought my hexagon hoop earrings from Ana Luisa. These I wear always, always on travel days because they make me feel polished and put together. They look good when I'm wearing my glasses. They don't look too fussy either. I brought one pair of sunnies, my sit-ins. These are from my fabulous friends over at Merivale Vision Care in Ottawa. Also, my cousins, Husband bought me these little cool vintage frames at a market in Sarzano. Really cool vintage and antique market and he thought I needed a pair of frames that were a little bit like softer. Perhaps a little bit more Italian and a little less French because the cylinders are very French. I love both. Now I have two options. It's great. I get asked often too about like socks, underwear and workout gear. So I brought 13 pairs of underwear with me. I usually look for laundry Airbnbs that have laundry facilities, but if not, I always travel with my True Earth Eco Strips, and then it's really easy to hand wash my things with just like a sink or a tub or whatever. So I do that. I brought two pairs of socks, pretty much only for running, so I just cycle through those and wash those workout gear. I brought one pair of booty shorts, one pair of running shorts. I brought two sports bras and one like workout tank and that's it. So these are other pieces that I'm washing constantly because I work out almost every day. Toiletries. I brought like the absolute basics. I mean, I don't really wear a lot of makeup in general, but in the summer, I almost never wear makeup. I did though bring makeup for when I'm on camera. So I just brought mascara, a little bit of concealer, a blush, a highlighter stick, lip gloss. Oh, and I brought the end of my eyeliner pencil. Other toiletries, I just brought a cleanser, a moisturizer for day, and then a moisturizer for night. Deodorant, body sunscreen, my necessaire sunscreen is just, God, I love it so much. Toothpaste, toothbrush, that's it. Contact lenses, I brought those too. I also brought one pair of ophthalmic glasses, my iPad, and then in terms of work gear, I also had to bring my little mini gorilla, my camera, my small lapel and body mics, my laptop, bunch of plugs and wires, my earbuds, battery pack, two adapters. Oh, and a pair of pajamas. That is everything, like literally everything. So that is what I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Do stay tuned for the next chapter in this travel capsule. I think breaking up into two parts is the best thing because I really want to make sure you absorb all the different looks. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you learned something new, hit subscribe if you haven't already. In the meantime, if you wanna grab a ticket to my live virtual Shop Your Closet, then we are back with those. This is a fantastic two hours of real-time styling with two guests, like real people whose closets we shop based on inspiration inspiration looks that you get in ahead of time so you can also submit the looks and we look at everybody's outfits. More information in the description box below for that. Also, you can find me on my Sustain This podcast that I do every Tuesday with the incredible Christina Mijas and Dina Henson from Use Less. So lots of places for you to indulge in slow fashion. But in the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, a wonderful week ahead, wherever you're at. Thank you so, so much for being here. I will be back in the next slow fashion video. Ciao.